Elon Musk's new robot is more complicated than you might think. At Tesla's AI Day event 2022 on September 30th, Tesla CEO Elon Musk revealed their company's robot Optimus meant to change and revolutionize their company's assembly line. To unveil the robot, Optimus was programmed to walk out on stage untethered and without any cables and wave to the audience and also showed a dance move. According to Elon Musk, this was the first time ever that the robot walked while not being connected to any tethers or cables. A video was also played at the event which showed the robot performing basic tasks like carrying packages around a room and watering a plant with a watering can. Elon Musk said that their team at Tesla is working to get the robot available as soon as possible for less money than a car or under $20,000. The robot is also being designed to be manufactured in high volumes of over a million at a time. At Tesla's event, they also showed a prototype of the Optimus robot that was fully assembled and resembled what the potential final robot would look like. But we wanted to show you the, the robot, uh, the, 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 something that's actually fairly close to what will go into production. And, um, and show you all, all the things it can do. So let's bring it out. This prototype looks a lot more like what was originally showed at the event from the year before with a more futuristic design. The prototype also showed that the hands on the robot were designed to have a full range of motion in its fingers similar to a human hand. Our fingers are driven by metallic tendons that are both flexible and strong. We have the ability to complete wide aperture power grasps while also being optimized for precision gripping of small, thin, and delicate objects. Some basic stats about our hand is that it has six actuators and 11 degrees of freedom. It has an in-hand controller, which drives the fingers and receives sensor feedback. This human-like functionality is not only limited to the hands, but to the entire robot's functionality, which was of course modeled and designed after the human body. Elon Musk's robot will also be designed to do everything that a human brain can do, such as processing visual data, making last-minute decisions, as well as communicating. So to support communications, it's equipped with wireless connectivity as well as audio support. And then it also has hardware level security features, which are important to protect both the robot and the people around the robot. Tesla is using the technology from its cars and vehicles in the robot, including a battery pack and an autopilot software to make this all possible. The Optimus robot will be made with very lightweight materials and contain over 40 electromechanical actuators. These types of actuators will work by converting electrical energy into mechanical energy. An electromechanical actuator works by driving an electric motor and the rotational motion is coupled mechanically through a gearbox to some type of screw which then converts it to a linear motion. The robot as a whole uses three types of rotary actuators and three types of these linear actuators. All of the actuators that the Optimus bot uses were designed and developed by Tesla. The reason Tesla developed their own linear actuators instead of using standard ones was so the robot could be as lightweight and as power efficient as possible while still being at a relatively low price. Another interesting thing about Optimus is how the robot sees the world. It's exactly the same occupancy network that we'll talk into uh, a little bit more details later with the autopilot team that is now running on the bot here in this video. The only thing that changed really is the training data that we had to recollect. We're also trying to find ways to improve those occupancy networks um, using work made on your radiance fields to get really great volumetric uh, rendering of the bot's environments. For example here, some machinery that the bot might have to interact with. So we've been training uh, more neural networks to identify high frequency features, key points within the bot's camera streams, and track them across frames over time as the bot navigates through its, its environment. And we're using those points to get a, a better estimate of the bot's pose and trajectory within its environment as it's walking. And this is a video of the motion control code running in the autopilot simulator, simulator showing the evolution of the robot's walk over time. And so as you can see, we started quite slowly in April and start accelerating as we unlock more joints and uh, deploy more advanced techniques like arms balancing over the past few months. This version of the robot was developed in under six months. 
Tesla has predicted that the Optimus robot will become commercially available within three to five years, meaning being able to receive one and not just order one. Let me know how long you think the robot will take to become commercially available in the comments below. Please consider liking the video, and thanks for watching.